or does this summer feel hotter than normal? It actually might not be your mind playing tricks on you. Our Jennifer Ah did some digging to find out if it's really hotter than normal. She has all the details. It is really hot. In fact, our meteorologist told me this is the hottest July we've had in five years. Today, I talked to some folks out at Ann Morrison Park, and they told me they found some new ways to beat the heat. It's been one hot summer this year, and people are noticing. It's too hot outside. Plenty of opportunities to cool off. The last time it was this hot in July was back in 2007. Our chief meteorologist says we're not just having consistently hot days, but abnormally hot nights as well. Across the entire country, the heat has been scorching all summer long, but what's making this July real hot in Boise, it's been very consistent. The mornings are warm, the afternoons are hot, and it's been the fourth hottest July on record so far. With flip-flops on and water bottles on hand, people out at Ann Morrison Park were kicking back enjoying the sun. Some told me they've had to adjust their schedule to beat the heat this year. I try and get all my activities done in the morning before 9 a.m. and then I would stay in the air conditioning or come down the river. And that may be a good idea for horseback riders. This morning I went out to go ride at 6 a.m. before the sun came out because I can't handle the heat riding and that's been unusual this year. Some pet owners say they've paid closer attention to their pets. You know, we go home and check on our dog a little bit more often and um, make sure that he has cold water throughout the day, but we've adjusted pretty well, so. According to the National Weather Service, it's not only hotter this year, but drier. Much of the U.S. has been abnormally warm, including Boise. The latest outlook shows the Treasure Valley in a D0 outlook, which means abnormally dry conditions which could mean we are leading into a drought, but once we get in the winter season, we start getting more precipitation, then that would mitigate the drought conditions. And our chief meteorologist, Scott Dorval, says August should be just as hot and dry. So remember, always drink plenty of water, apply sunscreen, and try to stay in the shade as often as you can this summer. And we want to know, have you noticed the hotter weather this month? How are you dealing with the sun and beating the heat? Comment on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Idaho on your side. In the studio, I'm Jennifer Aw, Fox 9 on your side. And some of you have already commented on our Facebook page. Vicki Sanchez said, yes, it feels hotter than usual. And Becky Brock Ridenauer said, it's even way too hot where we live. And that's in the West Central Mountains.